seven days of waiting for one of the videos to be uploaded. And is it worth it, you think? Well, I'm back with another one, back with the video. So enjoy for your eyes, yo. A is the Wednesday rundown. Don't frown, don't frown, don't frown. I'm taking it to your town. This is the Wednesday rundown. Season 2. Today was an amazing day. I have had very few days like today. Um, the only other ones I'd talk about is helping the homeless during Thanksgiving. Um, and... That's probably the only one that could compare to this because helping others and making a change is difficult. And that's why we're talking about protesting. You're going to notice I don't have a script. Literally, it's nowhere to be found. This is in all the batting. You're going to hear paper. If there's paper, there's no paper. Because there is no need for a script. I'm talking about protesting because I did today. And the shout-outs are going to be a little bit different. And I'll talk about that when I get there. Um, but it might be a little bit of a longer shout-outs list. But let's just get to this. Today, I protested against racism. Not only racism, but racist and crooked cops. And when I say that, I do not mean all cops are crooked. Actually, the cops that we were interacting with at the peaceful protest were very nice cops. And were very good to interact with. Thank y'all. Um, but no, I want to talk about this. If you came out to protest, or if you have in general, thank you. You're making a difference. Your actions speak louder than words, so if you're on a social media platform saying you're going to do something, go ahead and do it. And, if you want to talk about all this rioting being bad, and you're like, ooh, I love peaceful protests, and you did not come out, please do come out, show your support, because I don't care how much you want to talk about all these things. If you're not trying to make a change about it, I don't care about what your opinion is. <coughs> and you got to understand a lot of that stuff. Because you're going to think, oh, we're peaceful protesters. You're like, oh, well, some of them are going to hate the cops. We do not hate the cops. We all love them. We are all good with them. Um, in general, today, it was actually a very good turnout. Um, and it was very peaceful all around. Now, I've seen a lot of people... <coughs> I've seen a lot of people um, out here just... You know, want, they want to talk about wanting to, to have equality, but then it's like, uh oh, I guess not, I'll just not go protest. You know, a lot of people want to mention MLK all the time. Um, then get off your butt and do something. And if you can't get off your butt and do something, at least try. <coughs> it's difficult times out here. And even if it doesn't affect you now, it will affect you later. Because although it doesn't affect you as a person, it does affect other people. And, and, and if you just don't understand that in the brain, then that's not something I can fix. That's something that you need to go to a therapist for because you got problems. Um, today was definitely a change in who I felt like I was. I was scared to go, I'll be honest with you. I was scared to go, not because I was scared about um, anything bad happening to anyone, but like just that it wouldn't be as peaceful because the news loves to talk about how, how many non-peaceful protests there are. Yet it was four hours of peaceful protesting. Interesting. I talked to a guy today um, after the protest, and I was like, hey dude, why didn't you go? He said, because they were playing F the police on the radio. I was like, if that's the reason you did not want to cross the street and protest with us, then I don't know what's what's up, dude. But I did come to an understanding, and I, and I told him, all right, you want to protest another time? He said, I'll, I'll try to come out. So thank you. I'm not going to say name. That's obviously personal information to him. But thank you for kind of coming around and being like, you know what? I will stand up for what I believe in, and I will peacefully protest next time if it comes up, which it probably will. And now I want to talk about um, the people I met, which were some amazing people, and, um, why I even protested in general. Obviously, I protested in general because this is a problem that, let's say, I was, um, affected more. Let's say I'm black, which I'm not, obviously. Um, but let's say I was, I would not be wanting to stand for this injustice. Um, but it's just, it's just not right out here, y'all. And the truth of the matter is, if you're white and you have a chance to go out, go do it. Um, white privilege is a thing. You could say it's not, but it is. Um, and the truth is, although we had a lot of black people in there and they were the ones doing this a lot, they probably weren't as hurt as well because the police officers were giving them weird looks, some of them. Well, to one person in particular named Blake. 
I love Blake. I knew this guy for two hours, great legend, and I had some great conversations with this man. I'm not going to disclose them here, but I do want you to know that there were four other people protesting with me up until 4 o'clock, which is four hours. Blake protested for two hours, and in those two hours, he probably did more than most of the people. Why do I say that? Because the other people did it just so they could post it on Instagram, post it um, on Snapchat, maybe just say anything, ooh, I did it. But they don't really care. And that's my point. I do care. I left my phone here. Partially because if I take it off the charger, it dies. But secondly, because sometimes you need to do things without any agenda. I had one agenda to make. Make a difference. If we don't make a change today, a change is never going to happen. I don't want my grandparents or e my grandkids or even my kids to grow up in a country where racism is still a thing. I will, I will disclose one, inf one thing we had together. He was like, thanks for sh finally showing up for me and other black lives. And I said this. Dude. I'm sorry it took us this long. Because it took us way too long to even start talking about this. And I think it's disgusting that some of y'all want to be out here and still acting like the riots are happening and George Floyd never died, basically, because you're not going to mention it. If you're not going to go peacefully protest, you can shut your mouth. And that's what I'm being honest with. And what do I mean by that? If you, can't be, if you don't peacefully protest but you're having a good message, okay. But at the same time, I talked to one of the, um, the leaders who was using this. His name was Blake as well. And I was like, dude, I don't get why these people talking on Instagram like they're going to make a change and they're not out here. He said, dude, I agree. These people just ain't going to make a change. They ain't going to make a change. That's how life works, man. You see, this was a life-changing thing for me. This is the first protest I went to. And I was... The reason I was partially scared was because, well, I wanted my friend um, Tyler shout out for um, today. We'll give it to him today because he was walking out there with me. I wanted him to be there. His dad said no, and he probably had a reason why. But and, and why do I say Tyler was walking out there with me? Because Tyler is black, okay? And I sometimes think if he was George Floyd, let's say, and he got on the neck or whatever, and then, and then all that he was boiled down to for people was, okay, recipe George Floyd or all this stuff. I said George, we were, we were like, we were like, say his name, George Floyd. And we, and we did that a bunch, but we had to say his name, but while saying his name, say every other black person who has died for police brutality. And it's not just the name, that was a full-blooded person. If my best friend Tyler would have died, and everybody on Instagram, you know, starts posting this stuff, I'm mean, gonna like, that was a man that was killed. George Floyd was a person with full-fledged attributes that was killed, and you can still stand out here and tell people the way they want to protest. I'm against looting, but rioting in some ways can be okay. And peaceful protest, yes, we definitely made a change. We were in good relations with the officers. And one of the biggest things is, if you have white privilege, this is the one time to use it. Use it to get your voice across. Because, man, they look at us differently. That's disgusting, but it's the truth. Apparently, something as stupid as this can be seen so weirdly. And... I don't know, y'all. Other than this. If you say all lives matter. You are protesting our protest. There was a guy who said that. He got taken away by the police officers, like, like told to go home. Didn't get to do what he wanted to do. Because you're protesting our peaceful protest. You know? And, and he walked up to a girl, got in her face and said, Oh, shouldn't I say all lives matter? No, sir, it shouldn't. Obviously, all lives matter. Blake said this to somebody who said all lives matter. He's like, he's like, Yes, sir, we get that all lives matter. But right now, black lives matter the most. That's how it's working, y'all. Obviously, all lives matter. If you have more than at least a brain stem, you understand all lives matter. And if, if, me, saying, if me saying black lives matter hurts your feelings, then there's a problem with you, because that means that you are racist. And why do I say that? Because if I say black lives matter, you're like, oh, I matter too. Obviously you do. 400 years you've been superior to black people in this country, and it's done. I'm done with it. A change needs to be made right now. I'm getting a little bit heated, but what I want you to know is peaceful protests are nice. It was a good environment. And if you have the opportunity to go out, don't miss it. 
Because when everything becomes better, when it will, because it will if we keep doing what we're doing. And you didn't want to protest and do all that stuff? Something called karma, buddy. And it's going to come to you. When, when those same people who you did not want to stand up for start doing better at everything than you, it's your fault. You didn't want to stand up for them now. If they're surpassing you, bye-bye, buddy. You're a bandwagoner. That's basically my tech job. Let's do protests. Let's do protests. Let, for real, though, let, let's protest. Like, protesting is good. But no, let's do shout-outs. Shout-outs! Wednesday, like I said, is... Tyler Park! Absolute legend! Next up, we have Tuesday... James! I'm checking them out like I always do. Monday. Peyton, who went to protest um, before the one that I just did, so good for you, bro. Friday, JD, who wanted to protest, but he woke up too late, but it's okay because I like his passion. Thursday, this one is going to go ahead, and uh... This one is going to go ahead and go out to Matthew for standing up for what he believes in and talking about everything that's been going on unjustified in this country. Thank you for that, brother. And I also want to give a big shout out to all my black viewers today, specifically y'all. And um, the reason I want to say this is thanks for supporting me. And I know that my ancestors might have not supported you. And that's a problem. But I do want you to know this. Although it seems too late, I'm trying to make a difference now. So don't tell the white people who are protesting, it's not good. Blake told me, it took you a while to finally start protesting. I said, sorry it took so long, we're here now, let's make a difference. I love you all. And especially my black viewers right now, for sticking with me. Because why would you just stick with a random white guy? I think it's because you know I probably have a good heart. And I'm here for you. And I'm here for everyone. If you need me, hit me up. Y'all know my socials by now. Instagram, Athlet, underscore, time. My Snapchat, GamerDive5760, if you need me. Alright, y'all. Thank you. And, when I see you again, I will be ending the video like this. Yo, 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 Athlet! Ow!